How's it going everyone? My name is Miguel Fuentes and today is Monday, March the 4th. And I do have a uh, devotional that I want to share with you. And this devotional is called uh, Forgive Your Enemies. And uh, we, uh, well actually, let's take a look at Matthew chapter 5. And let's take a look at uh, verses 43 through 48. And it reads, and I'm going to be reading out of the Holman Christian Standard Bible. <clears throat> you have heard that it was that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, well, Sorry, but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you so that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. For he causes his Son to rise on the evil and the good and the sent, oh, sorry, and sent rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. But if, yeah, for if we, sorry, for if you Love those who love you. What reward will you have? Don't even the tax collector do the same? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing out of the ordinary? Don't even the Gentiles do the same. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. So in this scripture, we see how God um, quoted scriptures in the book of Deuteronomy. How the Lord Jesus Christ, you know, say the things in Deuteronomy and make it um, more fulfilling. Because we got to understand that Jesus came to fulfill the law. And to love our enemies and to pray for those who persecute you. And, you know, in my walk with the Lord, you know, it's very, very rare uh, to get persecuted in America. However, uh, the sense of the level of persecution in America is, you know, they will talk nonsense about you or they will talk smack about you. They would... You know, all these things, you know, and, and for me uh, at work, you know, the, there's one of my uh, co-workers, he's, he, he's like, I don't know, like 66 years old, uh, Hispanic guy, and uh, talks way too much smack towards me because I'm, because I'm not very good as a worker, but yet God gave me the grace, God gave me the grace to overcome what they were saying against me. And we got to understand that there's power of speaking life or death uh, towards people, basically. And so, as, as I read the scripture, you know, it really reminds me on how we should love our enemies, how we should be praying to those who are willing to not only to be forgiven, you know, but 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 to love them and to share the gospel with them. I think that's the most important part of the Christian walk is that don't hold a grudge towards other people who are coming against you. It, it is our responsibility as Christians to not lay a finger to them. As in, you know, bringing uh, violently harm towards them. And, and, and that is bad Christian ethics. And so we got to understand that as believers, we should, you know, walk away. You know, if, 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 if that person hits you in the face, just give them another one in, in the other cheek and walk away. 
um, you know, I, I was watching a YouTube video not not too long ago, probably a year ago. I see how Christians are being persecuted in India. How the Hindus were attacking pastors in India, and how, uh, and how and how people of uh, well, a pastor pastors in India were not fight back, but they give glory and praise to God. And 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 for me, that is a a remarkable, uh, a remarkable point of what Jesus is trying to say in Matthew chapter five, verses forty three to forty eight. Is that you know we should not fight back. Um, we should not take violence upon them. You know what the Bible says. You know, the, the Lord will fight your battles for you. But it's not going to be a physical battle. No, it's going to be a spiritual battle that you are going to be, that you are going to remember, you know, what, what the Lord has taught you. Um, and, and really, this is the part where we got to love them. Even if they hit us, even they, you know, even they beat us up, uh, because we're Christians, you know, let them. But the Lord says that you know, vengeance belongs to the Lord. You know, we should not curse people who come against us. We should bless them. Uh, it, you know, it's, it's very, very important to really understand this. Um, a point of context, and and also during these end times, you know, uh, Christian persecution will come in America, uh, some way or uh, some form or fashion. Um, doesn't matter if it's you know, getting getting arrested for starting a house church in the United States. Even though we have the freedom of religion, one day the Antichrist will take away our rights. Uh, our First Amendment rights, so that they can perse persecute us as believers. And I know for a fact that you know I, I know President Trump, uh, President Trump is trying to bring back the Bible into schools, and I appreciate and I really appreciated that that, but that's not going well. Let me rephrase it. Uh, it's good that we bring it back the Bibles into our schools and bringing back God into our schools, but we still gotta face persecution. There will be setbacks, uh, even towards another believer. You know, uh, I had a a believer in the Lord come against me for what I'm what I'm saying and what I'm teaching. You know, and you know, I'm I'm, I'm out. Blah, blah, blah. I'm all open ears, you know. I and I and I listen to what uh, they are complaining, and you know, and if I and if we reason together and we search out the scriptures together to see if it's true, you know, um, you know, some some people will say, you know, you're a false teacher. And I always said, you know, God bless you, you know. Um, yeah, anyway, so I say, God bless you. And uh, love them, love upon them and pray for them that they will see the truth of the Word of God. You know, uh, so always understand, pray for your enemies. Love on them no matter what. Share the gospel with them. Even if they're, they're a born, even if if they are so-called Christian to come against you, you know, you know, speak a word of, speak a word of encouragement towards them, and and, and shine the light upon them. So, I thank God for for watching this devotional. I hope that this helps you understand the scripture. I hope that this is encouraging to you to walk. Uh, to walk by faith and not by sight, and to walk with the Lord each and every step of the way. So, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.